Hey, what's going on, guys? Speak up, sound machine here, back in with another video, guys. In today's video, guys, of course, uh, I have another diecast review for you guys today. And I'm just gonna say right up front, there were a lot of cars to get through. So, yeah, I'm really excited for this. Um, half of them are Fenix, half of them are um, Gold Series. So, yeah, let's just let's get right into it. So, um, I'm gonna start off with the Authentics first, then I will move on to the Gold Series. I got some ones in here that are, they, they look just really good. But we're going to start off first with the Kyle Larson number 5 Hendrick Motorsports test car. Now guys, this this is a this is this is a really good looking car. And I found this interesting. If you guys didn't know this, um a lot of all the Hendrick Motorsports diecast authentics ones that I've gotten, they have a black diffuser. I don't know if you guys noticed that too. So if you focus, yeah, it has a black diffuser and a black bottom. And uh, the other ones, some of the other authentics have a gray diffuser, so still it's a gray interior, of course. But this car is this, this car looks really good. Um, I'm glad I actually finally have a test car. Didn't find the Elliott one, but I did find a couple others that I would uh, that are actually in this review today. So yeah, so Kyle Larson number five uh, Hendrick Motorsports Sports test car. Um, that and a couple others actually will be being used in a stop motion coming up. It is uh, a next gen NASCAR stop motion. I'm really excited for it. Um, yeah, so a couple other diecasts that I have here, will, uh, next gen diecasts will also be being used in that sound motion. But um, yeah, expect that later this week. So uh, subscribe if you uh, want to be notified for that. But anyways, guys, let's get into the next diecast. It is the Ricky Sanders Jr. 47 Kroger test car. I've never owned a, a like an actual like good looking Ricky Sanders Jr. car, and they released next gen. I found it. I was like, oh whatever. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna discuss this just honestly. Let's get into it now. Um, for a 100 subscriber special, I will be doing a full next-gen stop-motion race. And it's just an exhibition, does not count for points, it's not starting season too early or whatever, if you guys would think that. It is start, it is simply a exhibition, but it is for, it is for 100 subscribers. Thank you guys for all the support lately, I can't even believe one of the, the last diecast review spot hit 6k, I can't even believe that. So, I'm, I, thank you guys for all the support. I really do appreciate it. But that's kind of a thing that I'm going to be working on here before the next Speak Up Style Motion Season 1 race. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to not, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to tell you guys where the track, the track it's going to be at. I'm, I'll release a teaser video for that later on. But I'm, I'm really excited for it. So, uh, yeah, so expect that in the next couple, probably next month. Expect a next gen race. Hopefully I'll get it out in a month. Uh, expecting next gen stop motion race and then before that we'll have another next gen a way shorter next gen stop motion but anyways let's let's get back to the diecast so um this is the Ricky Sanchez and Kroger car this will actually be being used in that stop motion um both stop motion next gen stop motions actually so um I'm really hyped that I got this car because I you know Ricky Sanchez Jr. uh has not been released yet so I haven't, haven't been able to uh grab him but yeah so Ricky Sanchez Jr. Kroger 47 uh, authentic sets for remember guys um and then see prefer comparison great diffuser yeah so these are the ones that i'm going through all now right now are authentic if you guys are kind of new to diecast collecting um i'm assuming you aren't but if you are these are authentic diecasts you can find them at walmart or target for about five to four to six bucks i believe is the price four dollars at walmart's cheaper but harder to find and targets i think easier to find but more expensive stuff so. Um, do whatever you want, but, uh, yeah, so, and then this is the final diecast that, honestly, this is, all right, let me give, give you guys a little backstory, so, honestly, I'm just gonna reveal it, it is the Austin Dillon 2022 Next Gen diecast, um, the, uh, the Tracker, the Bass Pro Shops, dude, I would, so, they were, weren't making a Austin Dillon car, they had this, they had this one originally, right, it was a different, it looked a little different, but they originally had this Tracker boat, um, Bass Pro Shops car listed as a gold series and then they canceled it and then there was only like one other Dylan car being made I was like uh oh um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for Dylan because it was gonna release in 2023 so I had to I was desperately trying to search for this car I eventually found it which was just a relief so this is key for season two right here here is the Austin Dylan tracker tracker road not boat sorry um, Bass Pro Shops number three Chevy Camaro. I, I really like this diecast too. Again, another great diffuser, but honestly, I'll take that. It's, it's cheaper, cheaper. So I um I did find these three at Target, by the way, not Walmart. So just a little bit of clarification there. 
Now these three and next three I found at Walmart, and these again are other pieces of the puzzle that I will be um, that are again necessity. So we're gonna pull this one out here, and it is another Kyle Larson diecast, the Hendrick Motorsports number five authentics Kyle Larson. Doesn't look as good as the Gold Series, but it is cheaper, so I will take any cheaper diecast that I can find because uh, they are definitely expensive now. But here is the. Here it is. It's a pretty, it's a really beautiful diecast, to be honest. I really like it. Um, HendrickMotorsports.com. And yeah, so I, I really like this diecast. Big fan of it. Um, definitely is going to be a part of that special race. Um, hundreds, hundreds of subscribers, special. All these cars that I'm bringing, except for, except for this one, except for the test car. All the cars that I'm showing in this will be in that 100 subscriber special. So keep that in mind. Now, Here's another one that um, I was going to order these two, uh, this Kyle Larson one and this other one offline, but I found them in the store, so I was like, okay, well, okay, that works. The Alex Bowman Ally 48 machine. I don't I don't see why people have a problem with this. I originally looked at it in pictures. I was like, ew, this diecast looks disgusting. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus here. There we go. It's like, ew, this die diecast looks disgusting, but guys... Trust me when I say this, when you get this car in person, everybody thought it was like a cream color. It's not. It looks really good, actually, and it's really well made. So, honestly, this is, if you find this diecast right here, you find this other one, pick these two up. These are these are definitely worth it, these diecasts. All these, man, all these authentics are pretty high quality. And then, finally, the final one that this was, this, I found this diecast with these two right here. This is Wave 3. I found the Chase Elliott number nine hooters machine this this die cast looks really good and funny story actually i looked it up and the actual hooters car hadn't released yet. it's released by now but the actual hooters car hasn't hadn't released yet by this point so i was like one of the only ones beside the guys who had got at the track who had this die cast so it would it looked really good it looks really good this will definitely be a feature and speak up sound motion probably not in these any of these next gen sound motions coming up but probably in the near future in season two, this will be used for sure. So I'm really excited with um, hype for that one. So these are all the authentic diecasts we I got. Let me just push these back here. All of these diecasts, I really like them. Um, they will be featured in races in the future. Now, guys, let's get on to the gold series. These are the ones that you order offline that are ten dollars and you get charged shipping for. So unless you're using Circle Bay diecast to get shipping off or other sites or NASCARs and website, but they're all pretty much pre-order. So, anyways, I'm going my way from that. So, let's take a look at the first one that I ordered. It is the Austin Cindric 2022 NASCAR uh, season. I don't know. It is the discount tire machine. Um, I don't know why, actually. I still have this in the box. So let me just pull this out so I can get it. Um, yeah, um, this, this car looks really good, to be honest. This car... I really like this car. Um, here is the here it is out of the box. This car, I mean, this car just looks really good. Uh, and this is, of course, Cindric. has got the rookie stripes on the back. I I really like this car. If I do, uh, well, let's just rate these cars. Um, eight out of ten, seven out of ten, just because of the door placement. I it is a test car though, so it's to be expected. Um, ten out of ten, eight out of ten, ten out of ten. 8 out of 10. And I'd say this one, probably a 9 out of 10. For, for sure. I think this is uh, this is a really good looking die cast. For sure. So good job on Lionel's side. They definitely made a good looking all center car. I'm going to keep the, um, the, the separate. So, you know, you guys can see what they are. So there's a Cinder car. Um, next car is the Chase Briscoe 14 machine. I th This car is really good looking too. Um... Mahander, I think I said that right. Mahandra Tractors, I think I said that right. I don't know. Um, tractor Company, sponsor girl Chase Briscoe. He's got some funny commercial, Tony Stewart. But anyway, so let's take a look at this one right here. And I really, I really like this, this car, man. It's going to look so good in stop motions. So I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. This one looks really good. Um, yeah, e easy 10 out of 10. Looks great. Big fan of the Mahindra or Mahindra, whatever, uh, tractor, uh, tractors or whatever. <laughs> Sorry, I, I had a, I didn't think, think what was that. So uh, again, so this is another thing. I forgot to mention this. The back 
uh, on these Hendrick cars is black, just like the test Kyle and test car. So this one is black, and then the Chase Elliott one is black as well. But the Stenhouse and the Dylan are gray. I don't know if that was an intentional change or if that's just Hendrick, Hendrick Motorsports requesting that design. But anyways, and then just and it kind of matches these the black they, the the authentic still have the gray interior, but it does the, both of them do have the black diffuser. So let's take a look at the next car that I got, and it is the number twenty one of Harrison Burton. I, this this is this car. I feel like besides the door placement this year, this car just never changes. This car is the same car that we saw. Actually, hold on. Give me a minute. Let me see. It's right here. This is the car I'm using in Speed Cup Stop Motion Season 1 right now. This is the car. Besides the red tire change, that, that's the, like the only difference. This is Matt, Matt, DiBenedetto, Matt DiBenedetto in Season 1. And this is Harrison Burton and it's going to be Harrison Burton Season 2. Good looking back ass. Um, probably an 8 out of 10. It looks, uh, looks pretty good. So, good job on now. They just made a good looking uh, Harrison, Burton die, Harrison Burton die cast. Now, folks, let's take a look at the, um, not the final one, I don't know why it's the final one, um, at another die cast. This one is, I like this one a lot, and I, I do, so for season two, I'm going to have to, since it's a next-gen die cast, I didn't own any previously, of course, so I have to buy a whole new fleet of die casts, and I haven't got an entire new set field of die cast in forever, because I'm still using like some older ones, 2020 cars, 2021. And I'm so I'm still using what I have, and I'm really excited. To, I'm really hyped because this means I can get a whole new fleet on uh, of these cars. And this the Ryan Blaney, uh, Libman, Libman. I, I don't know. I'm I'm bad at pronouncing stuff like that. Um, it is a uh, cleaning since 19, 1876. Yeah, this is a really good looking diecast. Got Menards on the back, black diffuser. I really like to get the silver wheels rocking it. Um, yeah. This is just another good looking car. And unlike the other Ryan Blaney car, I, I, that actually, I'm not going to spoil it, but was actually my previous race. Let me just go focus on those guys. Um, This is the car that you guys have probably seen. This car actually never was on track. Um, The paint scheme had changed a bit, so this actual paint scheme was never on track. This one has been, though, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So, Ryan Blaney, I'll put that back on there. Ryan Blaney, 2022 Next Gen Diecast. Now, guys, we only have three more um, diecasts to go through here, and they're, they're some good looking ones. So, this one actually just released um, about a week ago. Ross Chastain, number one Advent Health Car, man. This this is, I definitely like this diecast a lot. I, I, I know I'm saying this. Okay, I'm going to write the, write the Ryan Blaney. 9 out of 10 for Ryan Blaney. Anyways, back to Ross Chastain. This car, I don't like Chastain as much as the driver, to be honest. But I think his diecast men are top tier, to be honest. His paint schemes are. And even though, you know, Chastain's done some stuff and whatever. I I, still, I don't hate the guy. I, I, think, um, I think that Advent Health did a really cool thing with him. Where they basically, hold on, I'll show you guys if I can get the car open. Um, let's see. Okay. There we go. I got the car out of the box. I mean, this box is really tough. Um, Advent Health actually put a... He, okay, so if you guys don't know, Ross Chastain was a watermelon farmer before racing. So, Advent Health put a watermelon... Hold well, on, let me focus that. Put a w stripe of watermelon on each side of the car at the bottom. I think that's just a really cool thing to do for your driver. Like, pay homage to his, like, heritage about what he used to do. I think this is a really good looking die cast. Probably one of my favorites. I'd have to rate this card easily. 10 out of 10. I just, I, I really like it. Now, on two left now, folks. Let's take a look at the next one. It is going to be the number 11 of Denny Hamlin's FedEx Express car. This, this car, man. Oh, oops, broke that. Uh, I just ripped the box. I, um, did not mean to do that. I'll have to take that back. Yeah, um, anyways, this car, um, I went to Indianapolis, if you guys haven't watched the vlog or the other diecast review, definitely go check that out now. Um, but I went to Indianapolis and I got some other diecast and I forgot to get Ham, I, no, I didn't forget, I went to get Hamlet and had already sold out of his diecast, so I was like, I wasn't waiting for this to release, because I want to get my hands on it. And this is the 11 of FedEx Express Machine of Denny Hamlin. 
Whew, just a good looking diecast, man. I love this. I have to rate this a ten out of ten. It's just a good. It's just a good looking diecast. And yeah, so good looking car. Good looking. Uh, good looking diecast. So this is these these diecasts look really good next to each other. And then the final one is going to be the number forty five of Kurt Busch, even though his future is not assured right now. I did. Um, you know, you still have. I still have to get his diecast no matter what. And you know, Tyler Reddick goes to drive it. That's all right. It the sponsor honestly, this probably won't change much, so I'll probably still use this car. But I think this car looks great. Let me just open this up real quick for you guys. If I can get it. Ow. All right, I got it. Got it open, folks. Let's take a look at this car out of the box. Um, uh, there we go. 45 money lion just just this is just a good looking car man like it I, again oh i did not mean to move that that's it is on me but um this is just a really good looking car uh the 45 kurt bush money lion um hamlet i forgot to rate it oh yeah no i read it 10 out of 10 uh this one 10 out of 10 easy love it just a great just a good looking diecast well guys that is it i actually ended up with more gold series than authentics here so that is it, folks, for the diecast review. If you guys did enjoy watching, definitely hit a like and subscribe. Hit the like button and the subscribe button down in the comment section and down the below, whatever. And um, if you guys want to see more pictures of uh, some of these, I have some more better pictures of the uh, the authentics, and these will be up on my Instagram. So pictures of these and pictures of the, these three, and then these three are already out pictures of those um my instagram my um it is at speed cup 88 on instagram if you guys want to go check that out i post stuff about chase elliott and other nascar stuff um so yeah so thank you guys for watching um i will see you all in um probably that um some uh, more side motions i'll see you guys then